Good afternoon, everyone. I am Terania Carthen, District 3 Commissioner here in Douglas County. And on behalf, of the, on behalf of the full Board of Commissioners, I welcome you. This is a special occasion, a historical occasion. And I thank you, ladies, for rewriting our history during this Women's Month <laughs> March. Thank you all for being here. But probably my most favorite, and I, I, even, I even wear it on my bracelet every day, um, is from the book of Esther. The queen that saved her people. Esther 4.14 says, Perhaps this is the moment for which you were created. Maybe everything, ladies, that you've worked for and worked on and been through up until this point was just for this, it was for, for you to be where you are now. And I know it's not going to be easy. And uh, some days you're going to wonder why you agreed to it. <laughs> but I'm, I'm going to be praying God's blessing on y'all and on this great county, Douglas County, and I appreciate y'all so much. Thank y'all so much for letting me come and be with y'all. It's us against us. So if you want to progress, you can progress. If you want to be better, you can be better. It's all up to you. You make that decision ultimately. Because it may not be your season right now, but the next season's coming up. That may be your season. That great idea that you had, that someone said, nah, we're not gonna do it right now. It may be the next season that that idea is perfect. So always remember that you can do anything you want to do. It's completely up to you if you put the time and effort into it and believe in yourself to do it. Your personal and professional growth stops when you lose tension between where you are and where you could be. You see, Few people ever want to be stretched. I had to learn how to be stretched. Stretching is an inside job. Stretching requires change. Stretching sets you apart from others. Stretching can be a lifestyle. And stretching gives you a shot at significance. So ladies, again, congratulations. Lead from the front with grace, integrity, and your God-given ability to turn what's down up as you have a bird's eye view and an opportunity to reach down and pull up while making a positive impact here in Douglas County Fire EMS. Thank you. Uh, these women who have set standards where others will be judged, leading is not easy, and they know that. So they've taken the helm, and they're going to lead us forward uh, to the, our next chapter. I'm so excited to see all the greatness in the room and the things that you all will do as you move forward. They've already hit the ground running. This is just a celebration today. But if you could just see the body of work that these women produce uh, that you can't see, but we see. Uh, and our citizens feel what they produce. Uh, we are just so honored and to celebrate you today. I certainly don't want to take up much time, but this is so befitting for the International Women History Month, uh, certainly as we celebrate you. And uh, when Chief called me and said, we, we want to do it just around March, I said, I love it. This is perfect. And we could put some pomp and circumstance around it and, uh, around it and also show how important women are. And I'm going to just leave with just a I'll leave you with a catchphrase, and I certainly would love to quote Maya Angelou, but what I'm going to do is quote James Brown today. <laughs> James Brown said, "This is a man's world, but it's nothing without a woman or a girl." There we go. I, I, Stacey Palmer, Donald Square, Auburn, Donald Square, Auburn, that I will support the Constitution. That I will support the Constitution and the laws of the United States of America. And the laws of the United States of America. 
the state of Georgia, the state of Georgia, and the ordinance of Douglas County, Georgia, and the ordinance of Douglas County, Georgia. I also swear or, or affirm. I also swear or affirm that I shall faithfully perform. That I shall faithfully perform and discharge and discharge the duties assigned to me. The duties assigned to me as communications officer, as a communications officer or officer of the Douglas County or officer of the Douglas County Emergency Services, Emergency Services, to the best of my ability. I further swear affirm, I further swear affirm, that I will represent Douglas County, that I will represent Douglas County, and the Douglas County Emergency Services, and the Douglas County Emergency Services, in accordance with, in accordance with, the highest standards, the highest standards, and will perform, and will perform, no act, no act, that will bring this credit, that will bring this credit, to its name, to its name. So help me God. So help me God. I've been at Douglas County for going on 23 years, and um, I know it sounds like a long time, um, but you know, half I look around, and, and half the people in this room I got to help on board, and the other half I grew up with. Started when I was in my 20s, and you know, you grow up a lot by the time you're 20 to you're 44. So um, there's been a lot of experiences and a lot of good memories. And moving into this role, I'm really looking forward to taking that part of the profession and that part of the camaraderie and bringing that in and intermingling that with the EMS division. So I think part of providing great patient care and taking care of your community is also taking care of each other. And I think that that is um, something I'm really fortunate to be a part of. And I just look forward to it. I really do. I am looking forward to and have enjoyed working so much just these few short months with Director Harley and I'm looking forward to the direction that our center is headed and the work that we'll do together and to improve our services to our county. Thank you. Um, Chief said it best. We stand on shoulders um, in this work and I would be remiss not to mention that my administrative team has over 100 years of 911 service, and they are here. Stan, Alicia, Dina, Tina, and we are missing Ms. Deborah Gross, and I was actually going to put her on the spot today because she has 39 years with Douglas County. Um, and I would also be remiss not to mention the very first person that I met when I started my career in E911 at Fulton County, Ms. Letitia Lester. She was my trainer, she is my friend, she is my mentor, and she is the, the, dep the deputy director of Fulton County Emergency Services. I'm very, very, it's, it's just a blessing to be here.